Now let's look at angle at the center. It has the same properties as angles at circumference. Angle at the circumference that are subtended by arcs of the same length are equal. Similarly, angles at the center that are subtended by arcs of the same length are equal. These two arcs are next to each other. But as the length of the arcs are the same, the angles at the center are equal. The angle at the circumference that are subtended by an arc is proportional to length of the arc. Similarly, the angle at the center that are subtended by an arc is also proportional to the length of the arc. Here we can see that as the length of the arc increases, so is the size of the angle at the center. Here we want to find x. Now arc AB and arc EF are equal. Then the angles x and y are also equal. To get angle X, we can get it from angle Y. Now this triangle OEF is an isosceles triangle. This is because OE and OF are both the radius of the circle. So they are equal in length. In that case, angle E is also 55 degrees. The sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So y is 180 minus 55 times 2. y is 70 degrees. So x is also 70 degrees. Find angle theta. For this question, we need to remember that the angle at the center is proportional to the length of the arc that subtended it. Arc AB is x, and arc BC is 2.5x. Then angle theta is 2.5 times of this angle of 32 degrees. So angle theta is 32 degrees times 2.5, and we get 80 degrees. Please do the quiz.